Okay, so for this question, do fast forward if you want to check your answer quickly. Otherwise, we'll take you slowly through it. First of all, I'd want to just copy down the question. So we've got g of x is identical. I'm using the identical sign rather than the equals because I think that it's the correct sign to use. And we will now want to factorize this denominator here. Being a quadratic, it actually factorizes, a couple of brackets there, and you should end up with 2x minus 1 times x plus 2. Now we should aim to put it over a lowest common multiple. And I can see that we've got an x plus 2 here, an x plus 2 here. I need a 2x minus 1. So that means multiplying top and bottom of this fraction by 2x minus 1. So if you were to do that, remember this is the same as multiplying by effectively 1. So it's just going to change the appearance of this fraction, not the value of it. So I can now put it all over a common denominator of 2x minus 1 times x plus 2. And if you do that, you should have something like this. 2x plus 3 times the 2x minus 1 minus effectively 1 times the 9 plus 2x, OK? So we just need to expand out these two brackets and multiply this bracket with negative 1. If you do that, you should end up with this fraction here. And then I'm just going to group up like terms on the top here. And if you do that, you'll get 4x squared plus 2x minus 12. And this quadratic factorizes. The first thing I notice is it's got a common factor of 2. So I'd pull out that common factor of 2, giving me two lots of 2x squared plus x minus 6. And then this quadratic factor here, that factorizes further. A couple of brackets here. So if I do that, you should get 2 times 2x minus 3 times x plus 2. And what I notice now is that because we've got one term on the top, one term on the bottom, there's a common factor of x plus 2 in both of them. So I could cancel that out with that factor there, leaving me with 2 times 2x minus 3 all over 2x minus 1. And that's what we had to show. All right?